Hello guys, welcome again. This is another video. And as I had promised, in this video, as the title reads, I want to discuss on the importance of having the birth certificate, not only yours, but also for the derivatives that will appear in your application during the application of the DV lottery. And I'm going to go through every stages that will require information from the birth certificate in the application. But if you had not watched the earlier video, make sure you go and watch because in that video, I explained of two sad cases where guys were denied visas because of very slight mistakes. Mistakes that could be avoided if they ever did the application using the birth certificate. So if you have not watched, it will be very important to go back and watch before you watch this. But in a nutshell, one guy from Cameroon was denied the visa because of making mistake in selecting the city of birth. And another one from Liberia was denied the visa because of making mistakes in the names. And with that, let's go directly into the importance of having your birth certificate and those of your derivatives during the application. And on this first part, where we have part one, and it is the entrant information. And this is when applying for the diversity visa. In this part one, we have these slots where you are supposed to provide your three names. So having your birth certificate, you'll know whether you have three names or you have two names. And if your birth certificate has three names, don't make a mistake of filling two names and rejecting the other name. Whatever names appear on your birth certificate, copy exactly as they are, letter by letter, into these slots. If the birth certificate indicates that you only have two names, that is the last name and the first name, and you don't have a middle name, that's when you check no middle name. The names on the birth certificate should be copied as they are on this same slot to avoid these errors. We go down here on the birth date. The birth certificate is very important in this section as well because the birth certificate will give the exact date, the year and the month in which you are born. The same dates that appear on your birth certificate, they are the one that you're supposed to copy here. The year you are born, the date you are born, and the month you are born, as they appear on your birth certificate. Another important thing, and I want to discuss this into details, is the birth certificate will help you in knowing the city where you are born in. And this is where many problems arise, because most of us were not born in a city as per se. And this city of birth does not mean the capital city of your country. It does not mean that at all. Because some guys, like in that case that I discussed earlier, decided to fill in the city where born as the capital city of that country but on the birth certificate, it was not indicated that city. He was not born in that city. What do you do in that case? The name that appears on the birth certificate, be it a name of a village or a name of a small town or the name of a small city, that is the exact name that you will insert here. Let me use the example of Uganda. For example, you are born in Mulago in Uganda. 
And Mlago is one of the villages near the city of Kampala. When you are selecting the city of birth, you don't put Kampala. No, you put Mulago because Mulago is what appears on the birth certificate. Let me repeat this. That the name of the town in which you are born that appears on the birth certificate, you should indicate it here as your birth city. And it is not the capital city of your country. It is not the city that is next to the place where you are born. It is the exact name of the place where you were born. That consider it as the city of birth. I hope that is clear. But if your birth certificate does not indicate the place where you were born, then you select birth city unknown. That is only when your birth certificate does not indicate the place where you were born. But if it indicates, make sure you place that name as the birth city. No one will come to check whether that place where you are born in is a city. And after all, everyone has his or her own definition of a city. The exact place that appears on the birth certificate indicate that as the birth city. The other important aspect of you having the birth certificate during the application is in determining the country in which you were born. The country that is indicated on the birth certificate, that is the country where you were born. And it is not the country of your current citizenship. You might have been born in a different country, but Due to various things, you took the citizenship of a different country and you've been living there the entire life. That does not mean that that is your birth country. No, the birth country is that country indicated on your birth certificate. Do you see how important having the birth certificate with you during application is? That's why I keep on emphasizing, get your certificate and those of your derivatives and use them during entering the DV lottery. Very important. Very, very important. If you have not, please like the video and subscribe to the channel. And let's meet in the next video.